We have the University of Miami, who will play the winner of the Arizona-Wichita State game on Saturday. <clears throat> We're joined by Miami student athletes, Sheldon McClellan, Kamari Murphy, and Angel Rodriguez, along with head coach Jim Laranega. And Coach Laranega, would you please make an opening statement? Well, I, I want to congratulate uh, Buffalo and their basketball program uh, for their outstanding season and the great competition that we had today with them. Uh, I asked my players after the game, have we ever played a team this season that had a five man that shot threes? And the answer was no. We didn't face a five man that, that made threes. So we really knew that, that Perkins could make the three. We were hoping he would miss early on. He didn't. That required then a lot of adjustments by us. The players made the adjustments and uh, fought back, took the lead, and then never relinquished the lead in the second half and finished strong by making a, a ton of free throws. Thank you. At this time, we'll have questions for the student athletes. And please identify yourself and your media organization when asking a question. Questions for the student athletes. Right here. Uh, Michelle Kaufman from the Miami Herald. Angel, it seemed uh, the first half was, was frustrating, like Coach was saying, with all the threes they were hitting, you guys weren't able to get going. There was a moment there where you had a block, and then you were all chest bumping each other, and there seemed to be a real lift of energy at that point. Right after that, Jaquan Newton had a steal and a, a layup, and then he had another basket right after that. Do you think that that was kind of a turning point, that moment there? <clears throat> well, I think, you know, especially in March where you play teams that you've never faced and probably you've, you've never seen them on TV, it's a, it's a challenge at first. And, you know, as you can see, it was for us. But um, we just kept fighting and fighting and fighting. And it seems like that play, you know, gave the team a lot of energy. And, um, you know, that's, that's, the, that's the beauty of this team. We just. We just need one little thing to, to get us going. And today we found it on defensive end. Questions? Um, Austin Sapin, Kane's warning. Uh, Kamara, can you talk about your performance tonight? Mm -hmm. I mean, first double-double of the season mm -hmm. um, in March, coming at the biggest time. Uh, how big was that? Um, I really wasn't thinking about numbers during the game. I was just thinking about playing as hard as I can. Um, we knew this team was talented. Um, had a lot of uh, matchup problems, so um, I knew if I came out and did my job and these guys did their job, um, we would get the W, and we did. So um, overall, I'm happy. Now that I see the numbers, I'm happy with my performance, but um, it was all for the team. More questions for the student athletes. Sheldon. Uh, Hi, can you just talk about the fact that uh, five guys in double figures, Angel had a career high, I mean a season high, Kamari has you know, his best game of the year. Just the fact that so many players played so well once you got to the tournament. Um, that's, that's one of the great things about this team. Um, you, can't just, um, you can't just lock in on me or Angel or Davon or Jaquan. Mm -hmm. um, we have a lot of guys on this team that can score. Um, that's why I really don't put a lot of pressure on myself as far as um, you know, being too too much um, of, of, of an yeah. aggressive during the game. So um, we have a lot of guys that can score on the team. So that's, that's the beat of, this, beat of this team. More questions for the student athletes? Go ahead, Michelle. Angel, when you guys are watching, uh, when you guys were watching the games earlier and you see what happens with Duke and, you know, you see the Yale game and stuff like that, did you go into this game really being very aware that upsets can happen and the Buffalo could have definitely uh, taken your heads off? Yes, um, most definitely. Especially, you know, for myself, I, I've experienced one. When I was at Kansas State, we were a high seed and um, we played LaSalle, disrespected them, you know, in a way that we didn't really pay attention to scouting report and, um, you know, did everything we shouldn't do. and. You know, I just didn't. I wanted to make sure that it, that didn't happen to this team. I think we've had a a great season, and you know, we have an opportunity to do a lot of bigger things now in March. So, but overall, everybody was focused and um, aware that anything can happen in a tournament. Question over here. Yeah, Angel, if you mark on Buffalo news, if you answered this already, I apologize. But could you just talk about Bearden 
You scored, you obviously you had a good day going up against him. What did you think of him? Um, I always knew he was a great player. I, I saw him last year in a tournament, and I seen him this year too playing against high-level schools. Um, so I, I'm not surprised whatsoever. And I thought he got the team going, and overall they all did a great job. So we got to give him a lot of credit. More questions for the student athletes. Okay, thank you. You guys can head back to the uh, locker room now. Am I done? No. <laughs> I'm not done. At this time, uh, we'll ask for questions for Coach Larinaga. Right here. Hey Jim, Jerry Sullivan, Buffalo News. You, you've been that mid-major team rising up to beat the power teams. Did you see something in, in that Buffalo team that almost scared you a little bit, like that they, they're not afraid? Oh, no, I, I, I thought they played with great confidence. I coached in the Mid-American Conference. So I was very aware of the kind of players that are recruited successfully who win at that level. And most of the time, they're undersized, but they're very, very good. And so for us, uh, we play in the ACC where there's a lot of bigger guys who play in around the basket. And you saw someone like, like Marshall Plumley today uh, who hangs around the rim. That's the kind of guy Tanya Jakiri is used to guarding. Now he's out there guarding Perkins who's nailing threes. It's very, very different. Bearden is a heck of a point guard. Uh, Hamilton is, is a very crafty, what we would consider in our league a three-man, but he plays the four, so he's a matchup problem for anybody. And trying to find the right adjustments to guard them because they're a very confident team. They've won, over, they've won 20 games, and uh, they played great in their tournament, and they actually shot threes better in their conference tournament than they have all year, so they came into this tournament really feeling good, of course, when they start out the game making three threes, their first nine points are all on threes. That makes it even more confidence going forward. But fortunately, I think our defense improved, our matchups got better, and our guys shared the ball well. That's why we ended up with five guys with double figures. More questions for Coach Larinaga. Tim Britton with the Providence Journal. Just how different is it to coach that game when you are the favorite expected to win? You know, I, I, th I think the underdog can, can play a little freer. Uh, they, they don't feel the, the stress necessarily of a higher seed. But I've asked my team not to put pressure on themselves, to enjoy this. I don't get a chance to do this that often. You know, if, if you look at my team, we have four guys who played in the NCAA tournament, eight guys who never did. So it's an exciting time in their lives, and they want to enjoy it as much as possible. And you don't enjoy when you're putting stress on yourself. So we've tried to make practice enjoyable. Uh, the guys have been smiling a lot and laughing a lot. and that, That's a good sign. And, and we were in very good spirits today when we came over and shot. Questions? Hey, Coach, could you just talk, uh, uh, talk about Michelle? Oh, Michelle Kaufman? Yep, from the Miami Herald. Um, can you from talk where? Miami Herald. Uh, can you talk about Angel's performance today and just how? He was just sensational. Angel Rodriguez is one of those guys who loves the competition. Uh, he, he, he really delivers the ball to his teammates very, very well. But then there's always a point in the game where he feels like he's got to score more. And when he does, and, and he takes advantage of his opportunities, then we have another weapon out there. You know, like Kamari was another weapon today. Uh, he had to play the five most of the game. But with, with that uh, opportunity, he plays closer to the basket and is able to get opportunities that Angel normally creates or Sheldon creates. But I, I thought Angel and Sheldon were senior leaders today that, that really dominated the game. More questions in the back? Austin Saban from Kane's Warning. How important is it that you can have so many guys come up big in, the, in a tournament like this where it's just, just one and done? Well, I've, I've told the players over and over again, when you get to the NCAA tournament, if you want to advance, you can't just play good. You have to play great. you got to find different ways to win the game. 
primarily you have to play great defense. You have to rebound the ball very well. We, we won the rebound battle today by double figures. Uh, and you've got to share the ball and find the open man, which we did. I thought one of the key baskets was Davon Reed's three when we threw the ball inside. Can't remember if it was Kamari or Angel that threw it out to him. But it was at a critical time. I think we were up four, and that got it to seven, and eventually we got it up to 12. Angel made a three, then Davon made a three. And uh, when your team starts to go on a roll, uh, it, it, it really builds confidence right during the game. Any more questions for Coach Larinaga? Yes, Michelle. Yes, Michelle Kaufman again from Miami Herald. Uh, can you talk about, we don't know who's going to win the next game, but can you talk about each of them as an opponent? Because uh, we have to write for tomorrow, Arizona and uh, Wichita State. Well, w my, my response is really this. Uh, Sean Miller is, is a, a coach that's headed towards the Hall of Fame. He's had an incredible career in his, his, his uh, young coaching career. And uh, his teams are always well disciplined. Uh, they play very, very hard defensively. Um, and they're, they're a very, very strong offensive team. On the other hand, Greg Marshall has, has done what I, I don't know uh, anybody at the mid-major level that's done it any better. And his team is now, right, right now, number one in Ken Palm in defensive efficiency. So they make it really, really hard on you to score. They've got those two great guards, um, Fred Van Fleet and, and uh, Baker, who give them a chance in every game. At this time of year, as you saw today with Angel Rodriguez and Sheldon McClellan, you know, guards really control the game. And uh, those two guards from Wichita State always give them a chance. Any more questions? Thank you.